Each one of us will have be touched by cancer in our own lives, our family's lives, our friends' lives. And the work that we're doing here today touches cancer right back. Improving the outcomes to cancer is all about early detection. It's about catching that cancer when it's small and before it's spread and become incurable. The problem is that cancer is insidious, especially in these early stages. And it doesn't actually lead to the symptoms that make people go to the physician, to the doctor, to get the diagnosis and the care that they need. And so this is why cancer screening is so important. In the fall of 2014, I started having some stomach issues, maybe a little blood in the stool, night sweats. I was pretty tired. I wasn't having to try to maintain my weight. It was pretty easy. And I went and saw my doctor about it. And in the beginning, it was kind of dismissed. And then when I started developing the pain in my right quadrant, they took it a little more seriously. It was a pretty grueling two months to have to try to wait patiently to have a diagnosis and kind of ultimately know that there's something that's not right. And as we looked more into it, it was colon cancer. And so at that point, I decided to think about myself first and really start putting my health forward, going into the future, hoping that I could get more time out of my diagnosis than was expected. I was 37 and young and ready to, to fight, basically. At Guardant Health, we develop innovative technologies that we could find the right treatments for advanced cancer patients, figuring out if the cancer is coming back in cancer survivors, and also most recently, the blood test for cancer screening for people who don't have any symptoms and they want to know if they have cancer or not. Blood testing is simple is pleasant. And when you look at other standard of care, it could be a good complementary to what used to be done for cancer management. For instance, in an advanced cancer patient, just imagine a patient with lung cancer. Standard of care was asking for tumor biopsy, needle passing through the chest while heating the tumor, taking those cells out and looking at some of the genomic properties of that tumor tissue. Now, you can do this with a simple blood test. We launched the test in uh, 2014 and we had this field of dreams moment. We built it, but we didn't know if they would come. The 14th test or 15th test we ran was a local woman in the San Francisco Bay Area. She was uh, diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, given only two months to live. She was a bit of a fighter, so she went to another institution, got a second opinion, that physician happened to be working with us, and he said, you know, there's this new test from this local company. It's called Garden 360. Why don't we try it and see what happens? It's just a simple blood draw. We ran the test. Essentially, we found um, information or mutations that were not consistent with pancreatic cancer. They were consistent with ovarian cancer. So that led the physician to run a few more tests and lo and behold, it really was ovarian cancer. And that just completely changed the whole picture. Essentially, she was now a candidate for a simple chemotherapy, and she had a complete response. And so that really changed the picture. And when we saw those results, we knew we had something pretty incredible on our hands. So to improve the outcome of cancer, the biggest thing is early detection catching the tumor and the disease when it can still can be cured by surgery. This might be best illustrated in that tale of two cancers. Lung cancer, which is the most common cause of death in the U.S., and breast cancer, which is the most common cancer. Lung cancer, 25% of patients are alive at five years, no more. Breast cancer, in contrast, more than 90% of women are still alive five years in. We in the United States screen for breast cancer. We do not, on a population level, screen for lung cancer. And th that screening allows us to intercept that disease when it's still treatable and allows these women to live longer. I'm very happy that we just got FDA approval for SHIELD, our innovative blood test for colorectal cancer screening at early stage. This test can detect cancers at early stages when it, it's the cure rate and the successful treatment rate are much, much higher. Millions of people are not compliant to 
colonoscopy or other stool-based tests for colon cancer screening. And this would be a new choice and new option. A simple way of thinking about this is there are 37 trillion cells in the body. They all have the same genome, the same three billion letters. And so if that's the case, why does your skin cell look different than a liver cell, than your eye cell? It turns out there are other letters that are there. There are other switches in the genome. Uh, essentially, there are 20,000 genes in those three billion letters. And essentially, if a gene is on or off, it sort of defines the function of that cell. And so we developed a technology that allows us to see those switches in addition to the genome uh, with very high sensitivity and with very high fidelity. And that's essentially the bedrock of the Infinity technology, which really allows us um, not only to detect cancer at lower and lower amounts, it's essentially what has driven the shield technology, what has driven our reveal technology for cancer survivors. We realized this technology where we could get the same information through blood would completely change the way how late stage cancer is managed but at the same time provide us with data and know-how so we could essentially understand what cancer looks like in the blood of cancer patients where the signals are higher. We used that technology, we used that data as our compass to basically lead us towards better technology, better performance. And then a few years later, we launched a test for cancer survivors, essentially being able to provide early stage cancer patients that have been ostensibly cured with a simple blood test for recurrence so we could detect it much earlier than current techniques. And then that provided us a stepping stone for the early detection of cancer. This is fundamentally gonna change how cancer is diagnosed, how cancer is even defined, and potentially how other diseases are detected in the blood. I feel so blessed to be where I am here at Garden, where our team has now helped over half a million cancer patients in their fight against cancer. Helping people at their lowest moments in their lives is one of the greatest blessings one can have. And I'm just so excited for the next 10 years where hopefully we can help 10 times as many patients in their fight against cancer. You can tell they're very invested in this community and getting to the bottom of trying to get results sooner for people or just have a better understanding of these diseases. And that is always going to lift up any cancer patient, knowing that there might be something that could propel a, a new treatment, a new discovery of some sort. But the peace of mind that it gives the patient is the best part for me.